final season in the making. What a moment and a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. The 2-2. Line drive. Base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A-Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Down along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge. We are just a couple of miles from the Capitol building at beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Gio Gonzalez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. HR what's the word on him. As I look at this ball game today, one thing to keep an eye on is his at bats against the right handers, his approach against right hand hitters, because right handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him. And those are the guys that he's going to have to exploit if he wants to win this ball game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Nope. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Harold, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, it was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2 and 8 over their last 10 games. Yeah, man, I mean, this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in a series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to get one win in this place as they get ready to get out of here. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Harper. He's got it one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I really like the way Neil Walker is playing right now. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Here's the 3-0 and pitch. And he lays off here, ball four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Hey, three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Here's Joanna Cespedes, and he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. Number 21 for him on the season as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff, homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. Into the box, 
Curtis Granderson. A little bouncer. On the first, and there were two down. The right fielder number 30. Stepping up to the plate, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Now the pitch. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Now, Matt, Dave Lawrence is going to remind you a lot of James Kingsley. He comes from that old school of you hit your spots, he's going to call it. He has a tendency to call one side of the plate a little bit more than the other. After it is eaten, no trouble with this one, and the inning is over. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Home half of the first coming up here at Nationals Park. It's now 2 nothing New York. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Harold, what do you got? Well, if you're wondering why he's had a good year, it points to one number for me. They're batting under 250. Everybody, righties, lefties, switch hitters, whoever's coming at him. And when you're able to keep that number under 250, you're giving your team a chance to win games. And we'll see if he can do that in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Outside, two and one. They jar these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They're on a nice little run. Winners of four of their last five ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead. But comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You've got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. HR, how do they go about ending the losing streak they're mired in? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. One and two, here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Here's Bryce Harper now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's got five base hits in 18 at-bats. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. Oh, he got out in front of the change. He was looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out, he was able to pull it. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. Here's Lucas Duda now. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Here it comes on one and one. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Here it comes. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, 3-2. and two. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Another payoff pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Murphy's got it. Throw the first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively, brought to you by Majesteo. And these guys can really pick it. They have the highest percentage fielding in the National League. When you do that, you win games. I love watching them play defense. Here's Neil Walker. He's looking to get things going at the plate. It has not been going his way of late. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. In the air, down the left field line and deep. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. Stepping in, Rene Rivera he comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Here's Daniel Murphy now. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, a leadoff single right here in the second inning. This is a good sign. Maybe this is how they get right back in the game, being already down a couple of runs early. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Wieters awaits the 1-1. One -one. Just got a piece up the line, but that one rolls foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Cespedes will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed standard baseball. Now at the plate, Jason Wirth. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Runners on first with one down. On Wirth, among the best in baseball, a couple of years ago working the count, he's got it to three and one now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's got two hits in 17 at-bats. And another foul ball. The next three, two. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Once again, a three, two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be Nine down seven. in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Standing in now, Ryan Zimmerman squared that one up just a little late. Two out with the man at first. Lined hard toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Batting Here's the shortstop now, Stephen Drew. Two's all over Steven the place. Two Drew. on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. They trail things here two to nothing. Now to the plate, Noah Syndergaard. Nine, one, and two do up. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two-seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to 2 and 1. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. That softly hit to right, will that get down? Murphy ranges back and he has it for out number two. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Two out, nobody on. In for strike two. He's done a nice job of getting those two quick outs before the two hitters come to the plate right now because he knows what's sitting down there down the order. So you stay aggressive against those little guys, try to get them out the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper on the run. And that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. But they're on top two to nothing. Digging in, Gio Gonzalez. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Aye. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. Conforto is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. In now is Adam Eaton. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. For Walker now at second. Throw in time at first for out number two. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. In now, Anthony Rendon. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Nationals gone in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Here's a changeup over the outside corner. Here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Swing and a liner, but this is a foul ball.
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. Rendon bare hands it. Safe. Remarkable play just to stop that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff man is aboard. Granderson. In is Curtis Granderson. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Ball two. Two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. The one two pitch. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. And this is fouled back and out of play. A man at third with one away. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rendon able to put it away, and that's out number two. First baseman number 21. Digging in for his second Lucas. at bat. Lucas Duda. Duda. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Weeders is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Mets leave one, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken by Walker. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting. Good second range shown off point. into the hole right Daniel. there. That's not, not an bad. easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away, he let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. In now, Matt Wieters. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. They're still down. It's 2-0. Here's Neil Walker. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Ball. Three and one now. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. Oh, 
and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. A solo home run here for Neil Walker. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets have taken a 3 to nothing lead. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rearview mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both the left hander and a right hander throwing stepping in now Rene Rivera hey. one and two now as that's in there at the knees. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now that's popped up, lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Now Noah Sindergaard. Striding in once again, Noah Sindergaard. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Now ball line foul up and over the Nationals dugout. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Again, he sends it out of play. Misses, ball two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I really like that he gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Into the box, Jose Reyes. He grounds it sharply to third. And the throw is in time, and that will end the inning in style. They call it the hot corner for a reason, and this is a beauty to take us to break. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Jason Ward. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Ground ball sent back up the middle and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Well he's been on a bit of a cold streak and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Ready for another chance. Ryan Zimmerman. He singled his last time up. Here's the 2 1. Takes this the other way to right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. The batter number 10. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop now. Steven. Steven Drew comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He 
set. Here's the 3 1. Swings through it for strike number two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. The next 3 2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's set. Here's the three and two. Another one sent foul. The payoff pitch one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that is off the wall in right field. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Trey Turner will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number seven, Trey Turner. Second and third here, one man out. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You can see it. In the score, the runner from third. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Digging in once again, Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Runner at first year, one man out. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it, he just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got it in there for a strike. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying the to move up. In now is Anthony Brandon. Rendon. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0 2. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Well, that's a big base hit for him. I'll tell you what, it's no fun to be 0 for 2, but let alone 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. So this is a confidence builder right here. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets three and the Nationals two. Blake Trinan takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 45, Blake Trinan. Riding in once again, David Wright. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Slider just off the black there, and it's to 2 and 1 now. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, 2 and 2. And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Joanna Cespedes will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Only 
And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. The pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. And the pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw three. more walks than other guys is exactly Anderson. what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Let's go, DC. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close called the ball what does he do he comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out in now Michael Conforto and that'll get down for a base hit the relay but he'll be in there with a double well when you step in the box you got a game plan with a sinker ball pitcher you no know if he gets it up it's going to flatten okay. out if it stays Do down that. it's going to sink hard so you want to get that ball above the thighs and if it's up you hit it if it's down you let it go nice execution and there's the fourth wide one so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. Up next for the Mets. Digging in and looking for more, Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. And the pitch takes off inside and it gets away. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that, the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Digging in to try it again, Daniel Murphy. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And as you see on the graphic there, that totals good for third place on the Nationals ball club. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Wieters. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Weeders awaits the 1 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. 3 2's our score here in inning number six. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Boy, he's got to want that pitch right there. I know he's been getting a few tonight already. But man, he's around the plate, he's consistent, but like any pitcher, you want all the calls. The 2 2 one more time. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Stepping in now, Jason Worth. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. 
That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's the one and one pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. A runner on first with two away. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One left for Washington. They're down three to two. Back here at Nationals Park. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Your Joe Nathan please. is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be Washington. inserted into the number now six spot following the double spot. switch. Number seven Michael four. Taylor will also Joe come on now as he'll Nathan. move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order in the here spot. on that double switch. Number three. Michael Taylor. Ready on one and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting. Catcher. Ready for Renee another shot Rivera. now. Rene Rivera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. And that hole at that, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Jake Bruce will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 19, Jay Bruce. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Line towards center field. Eaton is there. Two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready once again. Jose Reyes. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Three and one, here it is. Hit hard up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now. Well, this guy's a really good hitter. You fall behind three to one to him and you're throwing a fastball, you're probably giving up a base hit every time. Here's the third baseman David Wright 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Very tight ball game 3 to 2 our score in inning number 7. Hit on the ground out to short Drew's got it and he's safe. Well that's one of those unusual plays right there great hustle by the runner going to second base you just picked up your teammate a base hit. They couldn't get the throw to second base in time. Therefore, he gets a hit. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. Bases are loaded here, two down. Hey. 
A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton going back on it. He's there to track it down, and that'll Ladies end the gentlemen. inning. It's Mets leave them loaded, but they still lead it three to two. Jerry Blevins gets the call from the pen to take York. over on the mound Number and start 39. the home seven. Jerry Levin. Ready for another chance. Steven Drew. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. Here's the one and two. This is flared out towards second. And Walker's throw is in time for route number one. Now battle. Fielder. Now batting, Michael, Michael Taylor. Taylor. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. One and two, here it comes. Pitch is popped up. Walker is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The center fielder, number two. Adam in now is Eaton. Adam Eaton. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop Reyes. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Mets three and the Nationals two. Oliver please. Perez has been now summoned from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eighth. Six. Oliver Perez. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. 0 for three to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Granderson waits on the one two That's a ball. and there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. He's set here's the two two now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's another 2 2. And a neck high fastball that time. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first down of the inning. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That pitch right there. He's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Hits this one hard the other way. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. I tell you, Matt, I get excited when I see that. I don't understand why more guys don't do it. They're Not shifted batting. over to one side. You just take the ball and shoot Lucas. it to left field like he Who did down. right there. That was pretty. Standing in now, Lucas Duda grounded back up the middle. Murphy with a dive. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Acrobatics that time to the bag to get this double play started. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. In now is Anthony Rendon. And Dan, he and his fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. 
No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. On the ground, up the middle. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Now that's a big base hit. Late in the game, you're down one, you got the leadoff guy on now. The rest of the way, it'll be interesting to me, how are they going to manufacture? Will they bunt him over to move him into the scoring position? Will they hit a gapper? Let's see how they score this run. They can possibly push him forward. Here's Bryce Harper now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Digging in once again, Daniel Murphy. Lifetime against this pitcher. Three for 15. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Swing and a little tapper. This one's down to third. Wright's got it. The second for one. Back to Duda. A double play and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More coming up from Nationals Park in just a moment. Here's Neil Walker. He went deep back in the fifth. Here it comes on one and one. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in on it is Eaton. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Now batting, Captain Rene Rivera. Stepping up to the plate, Rene Rivera. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Here we go, Nationals. Ready with the payoff pitch. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. The pitcher number 39. Jerry T.J. Rivera will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Shortstop number seven. Here's the shortstop Jose now, Jose Reyes. Reyes. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. And there's ball two now. The look by Perez, now the pitch. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Jose 
hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Two and two count. Here it comes. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, you want to throw that sinker down. That one stayed up, and that's what the hitter's looking for. Get that ball above my thighs so I can hit it. If it's below the thigh, you let it go. Nice job. Good execution of your game plan. Trevor Gott takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Trevor Gott. Into the box, David Wright, breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Set to deliver on two and one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Two left for the Mets. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Jerry Scamilla comes on now looking for a for save here Mets. in the bottom of the ninth Number inning. 27, Jerry Scamilla. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. He'll lead it off against Jerry Scamilla, who will try to close the door in this one. One and one, here it is. Takes a look at a sinker that stayed up high, but good for strike two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. He'll try again, one, two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Adam Lind will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Adam Lind. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Runners on first with one down. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. Runner at first here, one man out. And he's able to fight this one off foul to the right, and the count will hold at one and two. That is the fourth foul ball of this A.B. right here. He's seeing a lot of pitches. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's a big strikeout there with the tying the run over at 10, first base. Shortstop. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more Ooh. difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Here's the one and one delivery. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, 
especially in this ballpark it's never easy to win games on the road so they are very happy with this win three to two the finish in tonight's game Noah Syndergaard picks up his league leading 13th win as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort Jerry Stramilia wraps it up for the save his 23rd of the campaign so that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Pleszak and our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way on over to the shownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Here's the 0-2.